All right, so real quickly here, I'm going to show you how I tend to edit eyes in a portrait. Uh, this is my own special technique, so take from it what you will. It's important to mention also that this should be the first thing you do when you edit your images, if you're going to try this. Uh, the reason is is that we're going to be changing color spaces, and anytime you change color spaces, it gets rid of all of your adjustment layers. So go ahead and try this out first, um, and it'll save you a lot of headaches later. First things first, we're going to duplicate this bottom layer here. We're going to call this our base layer. After that, we're once again going to duplicate that layer again. So you go layer, duplicate layer, and we're going to call this layer eyes. Okay, now that we've got our eyes layer, we're going to go to image, and then we're going to go to mode, and then lab color. Now it's going to ask you if you want to flatten your image, and you're going to click don't flatten. Now that we're in lab, we're going to make this layer a smart object. To do that, we need to go to layer, and then we're going to scroll down to smart objects, and then convert to smart object. The reason we're doing this is because it enables this to basically be an adjustment layer, so we can change the effects later. Then we go to image, adjustments, and shadows and highlights. Now when you first open up Shadows and Highlights, you're going to get this. It's going to have two options for you. It's not going to be very flexible. So go ahead and click Show More Options, and it's going to give you roughly 10 options to choose from. Uh, I just have some general settings that I tend to leave it on, just a default setting. Uh, each image is different, so I do have to slide the sliders around just a little bit. Um, the biggest thing you're going to be looking for is you're going to want to see a dark ring around the outside of the eye and then on the inside of the iris you're going to want to see it light up just a little bit. Um, my settings personally is I from top to bottom if I were to read these down to you would be 90, 20, 40, 30, 30, 93. Color correction is at zero because in lab color mode it doesn't do anything. Uh, and the mid cone contrast is going to be somewhere between 30 and 40. I've got it set to 35. So go ahead, I like it, go ahead and press OK. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to make this a layer mask. So you're going to go to layer, layer mask, and hide all. Now to get this to be able to show through, you're going to select white as your foreground color, and then select your brush tool, and then you're literally just going to paint on the effect. Now for this layer it doesn't have to be too precise, just try to keep it in the whites of the eyes and on the iris and pupil. Um, if you've got an eye like this that's in shadow, don't bother applying it, it's just going to look really weird and unnatural. But if you've got two that are out in the open sunlight, uh, go ahead and use the effect on both of them. Alright, so now that we've got the effect painted onto the eyes, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to convert this back to RGB. So once again, go to Image, Mode, and then RGB. It's going to ask you to rasterize the layers, that's okay. Then you're going to choose Don't Flatten. Alright, so now that we have this definition in the eyes, we need to give it some punch with some color. So, to do that, I like to go down to the bottom right, and there's a little folder that says Create a New Group. Go ahead and create that group, and then go up to the top and choose Layer, Layer Mask, and then we're going to go to Hide All. Now within that group, you're also going to want to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue and Saturation, and then you're going to set the saturation setting for right about 40, and the lightness right about 2. After that, you're going to go to, go to Layer, you're going to go to New Adjustment Layer, and you're going to go to Curves. Now with your curves layer, you're going to want to do a similar curves to what I have. Alright, so after you've got curves and hue saturation layers done, the next thing you need to do is make your foreground color white, grab your brush tool, and then also in the layers palette over here, make sure that you've got your black layer mask from group 1 selected. And then you're just going to go take that white paint, make the brush right about the same size as the iris and just give it one good click there with that white paint. And there you go, you can already start to see the color difference. 
The next thing you're going to do is you're going to switch to black and you're just going to do a little bit of cleanup. Anywhere that that brush might have gotten on top of the eyelashes or the skin tones, it can really kind of wreak havoc there. So do a little bit of cleanup and for the most part that's really all I do. Um, it has a nice little definition to the eye, it gives it a nice color pop. Um, it's very simple to do, uh, it doesn't take much time at all. So. Uh, this pretty much concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. And also, if you have any other tutorials you'd like me to cover, go ahead and email me as well, and I'll try to get to those for you. All right, you guys take care.